In this video, we'll talk about stop lines. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Shine from Zula Driving School, and let's get right into talking about stop lines. All right, stop lines. Stop lines. These things are super important, and for some reason, people kind of disregard them for the most part. But you find stop lines usually at intersections. So you will have, let's say this is a crosswalk area. This is the center divide line. And then you get this line here, and it's a white line. And this one here is the stop line. And let's say there's a stop sign here. So when you're approaching this, you want to make your stop before the stop line. And the way you can know whether, whether you've crossed the stop line or you're just before it is you should stop as soon as you can't see the stop line anymore. If it's the case where the stop line runs all the way across, we can use our mirror trick where if you're sitting in this car, let's say this is your steering wheel and you're sitting here. If you can see this stop line go under this mirror from where you're sitting, if you look over and you can see this stop line run across and goes under your mirror, then you know that the front of your car is perfectly behind this line. So let me draw that mirror here. So if you can see this line, it goes under your mirror here, then you know that you haven't crossed it. Now, this is fine. Usually when there's a stop sign, people will stop before the stop line. But you also have stop lines in parking lots and there won't be necessarily a stop sign, but you still have to treat it like a stop sign because there's a stop line. <laughs> so um, these stop lines are designed or are meant for you not to enter the crosswalk area. That's why they have, you know, they spend millions of dollars drying these things on the ground so that you can make your stop here and the pedestrian can feel safe walking on this stretch. Now, when you're approaching an intersection where let's say there is no stop sign, but it's a light and as you're approaching, the light goes to yellow. Well, you know, in about a second, it's going to go to red. So what you don't want to do is cross the stop line. Let's say you're planning on turning right at the next intersection. What you don't want to do is, oh, I got a yellow, but I know that I can turn on a red. So what I'm just going to do is a disregard the stop line and pull up to here and check to see if there's any oncoming cars. And if there isn't, then I will go ahead and make my turn. No, in this case, if you're approaching and it's yellow and you can stop safely, then you need to stop before the stop line. And once it goes to red, if you've scanned and there's no pedestrians starting to walk from this side or this side, and then you can creep out to get a better view of this road and see if it's clear and make your turn. In other words, you can't skip this step. There's a point why this stop line is on the ground. Now, if you are making a turn, a right turn, you can come up to this stop line and let me draw this stop line again. You could come up to it slightly angled. So you're better positioned to make your turn. But even in this scenario, no part of your sh car should pass this stop line. You need to make your first formal stop before the stop line and then proceed to make your turn. Sometimes at intersection, at residential intersections, uh, there might not be a stop line. In that case, check to see if there's crosswalks. If there are crosswalks, they need to stop before the line of the crosswalk that is closest to you. If there are no crosswalks, check to see if there's any sidewalks. 
So if there are no stop lines, no crosswalk, then you need to stop at the edge, the, the closest edge of the sidewalk to you. And if there's none of these, then you can go right up to the edge of the road and make your first stop there. So that would be your stop line there. In this case, there's no sidewalk, there's no crosswalk, and there's no stop line, but you have a stop sign, then you don't have to stop where the stop sign is. You can bring your front of your car right up to the edge of the road. And the way you can tell whether your car has not entered the intersection is when you look over at this edge of the curb here, if that edge of the curve goes under your mirror from where you're sitting, that's what it looks like, then you know that the front of your car hasn't entered the intersection. So I hope you took something away from this video. If you liked it, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to our videos on YouTube. In addition, we offer an online video training course on our website at www.zula.ca. And in that course, we talk about stop lines and lots of different driving scenarios where you encounter stop lines and how you should deal with them. Now it's one thing for me to stand here and draw lines on a whiteboard. It's another for you to get out there and put this stuff into practice. So be sure to get onto the road with a co-ed driver or a driving instructor and practice making full stops at stop lines. Thank you.